I am Charlotte Potter Kasich, Executive Director of the Barry Art Museum in Norfolk, Virginia. In 2013, artist Karen Lamont made a pilgrimage to the Mary Hill Museum of Art to visit Theatre de la Mode. Lamont is a deep researcher and was fascinated by these post-war fashion dolls exhibited on artist design theater sets. In this exhibition, the Barry Art Museum celebrates the artist's pilgrimage by positioning a selection of her nocturnes and etudes in theatrical sets inspired directly by this 1945 sensation. The original 27-inch figurines handmade by leading sculptors and fashion designers, most notably to Lamont Madame Gray, represent a conviction that art is a cultural necessity and could save the war-torn French economy. The 237 figurines and accompanying sets toured European cities in 1945 in the United States in the following year. These nearly 100-year-old works inspired Lamont's etudes. The influence of the elusive Madame Grey, so-called Sphinx of fashion, looms large over Lamont's sculpted dresses. While Madame Grey draped garments worn as costume, Lamont cast her dresses in glass and metal. This took Lamont's work from a commentary on the history of fashion to a rich conceptual conversation about art, beauty, absence, presence, and femininity versus feminism. Inspired by Christian Bernard's set Le Theatre, Lamont's figures of the night are both performers and audience in their perfect jewel box theater. Arranged in this environment with lush curtains, layered backdrop, classic proscenium, and stage crumb runway, Lamont's work weaves together fashion, theater, art, just as Theatre del Mode did 76 years ago. This scene, arranged with Lamont's white bronze figures, draws inspiration from the elegantly reductive, mournful set, The Port of Nowhere, by Georges Wakovich. Referencing classical drapery and dresses she designs and sews herself, the garments are not worn by idealized bodies. They evoke classical sculpture through a decidedly female gaze. Lamont's innovations and technical breakthroughs in the casting of complex and layered hollow shapes places the work in the present day. The more pastoral interpretation of Le Grotto Enchanté, The Enchanted Grotto, originally by celebrated artist and designer André Beauperre, is inspired by both Beaurepaire's set and by Lamont's commitment to classical drapery. With Lamont's full-scale nocturnes, the folds of fabric suggest both absence and presence of the wearer. The scale jump from the etudes implicates the viewer, creating a dialogue among the viewer, sculpture, and stage. The set's Grisal painting treatment enhances the sculptural environment, both real and artificial. Carefully positioning figurines on the stage plays to Lamont's interest in the tableau vivant, the 18th century theater craze. Tableau vivants, or living pictures, depicted often elaborate scenes from art or literature with grouping of both closed and semi-nude forms, mostly women, who stood absolutely still on stage to comply with Victorian indecency laws. Both playful and complicated ideas of femininity, eroticism, performance, and art merge seamlessly in this context. For Lamont, these photographs have taken on a new resonance in the pandemic era as theaters have been empty and shuttered. <laughs>